everybody and welcome back to age is how you wear it on my channel as you can see by the title age is how you wear it so how you carry yourself inside and out shows your beauty and on my channel i just like to show you how this grandma enhance herself or show her confidence and know that my age is not defined by anyone I have new in for, um, I think it's the month of August. Is it August? Oh my gosh. So some of the things I've gotten in, um, probably July and August, it's just a few things. In the beginning of the footage, you saw um, some of my trip. I took a girl's trip with my sisters and my daughter and we went to Orlando. We want to just see how it is, get out for a little bit, you know, before you go and travel everywhere, you want to see how things are. We kept, we kept it very, very sanitized. I mean, very sanitized. So let me tell you what I do. So when I go, when I go to hotels, this is before the pandemic and now it's just extra, but I will wipe down the entire hotel. So every, the entire hotel. So you down there wiping down the entire hotel? No, honey. I wipe down the room. So I bring my wipes, I bring my spray, and I wipe that room down. And now we, when we traveled, we consistently sanitized, mask, wipe down, and we got through it just fine. How I feel about traveling? Well, I, I can't, I'm just, so tired i'm already almost 60 years old i do not want to sit around and wait to do anything i i don't have child i want to do it while i can still do it and ain't nobody got to change my pamper in order for me to do it. do you know what i mean so i'm trying to get out there so i know at least next summer i am going to travel and i feel safe doing it as long as we don't have another type of y'all know what it is so we let me tell you some of the spots we went to i'm gonna let this be like a mini vlog type thing i told y'all i'm gonna get getting to it but most of the vlog type um videos i will do is on my other channel i told you i created a new channel for home items called welcome to grandma's house and where i do small things around my house i don't uh, it's not even a house i live in a townhouse and it's not mine, so my forever home that I'm retired at is not this small place. So I'm trying to show you things I do to make it better, to make it more comfortable, to give it a little glitz, to give it a little glamour, to to make it a home for me. So go over there to my Welcome to Grandma's house and you will start seeing the vlog-like videos. But I'm going to try to make these a little more personable too. So I'm not just going to just dive into, here's the outfit. I'm going to talk a little bit or show you a little bit about my life. So I showed you um, Orlando. We, Like I said, we didn't venture out too much. We went to the Bob Marley um, restaurant and I showed you that. We went to, uh, I saw how you could feed the gators. Um and I went to an escape room for the first time, guys. And it was, I thought, okay, first of all, claustrophobic. I didn't want a whole lot of stuff going on. And then, you know, I didn't see escape. I need to do movies, too, because I look at a lot of movies. But I saw the escape room. Uh, we're not even going to talk about the last one. We're not going to talk about it. I hated that movie. But anyway. So, you know, I had this idea in my head. Okay, what y'all doing? Y'all doing some crazy stuff. So, but it was not. It was fun and we beat it in time <laughs> we needed clues though anyway so i did the escape room and guys i took a chance and i went to universal which my daughter who lives in virginia has never been to universal so we did it it was hot we lasted as long as we could but we had fun and we stayed sanitized and let me show you the first thing on my item that's new in that I want to show you. Okay, this right here. I got this from Amazon. It is a 
portable fan. And what you do is you wear it around your neck and um, you know it's hot waiting in lines. So let me show you what it does. Not only does it light up, look at that guys. So if you're going out at night, it lights up as well. Look at that and you can change the lights. And when I say this fan, do you hear it? Do you see it? Look at that. Did y'all hear that? It has different layers of the fan. And when you have it around your neck, you're thinking, oh, that's just going to blow hot air. No, this thing kept me so cool. I just couldn't believe it. And I got it off Amazon. I got me one. I got her one. I will show you will find it linked below. You need to get this. If you be hot and you going somewhere where you hiking, walking, and you, you know, you might want some air. I'm telling you. And I wore it right around my neck like it was a necklace. Sure did. Um, okay, so the next thing. I, I got a little bit of everything. Um, so let's do this. I, for the first time, uh, when I went to Orlando, I wore a wig. Uh, really? I wore a wig that I wanted to actually glue down. And I didn't want nothing crazy. I wanted to be able to have it. I went on a train trip, so you saw that. I went on the train for the first time. Um, I went on the Amtrak train for the very first time because it was so much cheaper than taking a plane. So that saved me money. Cause I'm, you know, I'm in Florida, so I'm already in Florida. So jumping on the train to go to Orlando was nothing. Um, anyway, so the type of lace I got, lace bond I got is called Wonder Lace Bond. And it's an adhesive spray. I wanted something I could just spray on. And let me see if y'all can see it. I'm going to link it below too. I got this from Amazon as well. When I tell you the whole, I left it on at night. I did me i didn't do no baby hairs okay because i that's not me but it has it so i laid it like it was like just hair going to the side um i'll show you a picture right here of how i look in the wig and i put this on and when i tell you the train ride all day that we was walking around orlando the only reason i took it off i took it off the second day yeah, the second day because we was going to um, we was going to the amusement park. The um, so I took it off because I ain't want no I don't want no wig on while I'm at the amusement park. Sweat really seriously sweating, but guys, oh my goodness, this is very good. I would recommend it, especially when you don't know what you're doing. And I didn't want to do nothing with a whole bunch of, I had to do like, you know how some people have the glue that look like, like real glue that you putting on the, on your, um, your stocking cap and then do it and all that. I just want something I can spray on. It set down good to go. And that did it. So that's the, what is that? I don't know. I'm not even going to keep up with the times. All right. So. What else did I get? Uh, and as far as new in, as far as uh, beauty items, and you know I always do a little beauty one as well, but I don't, I'm not, I don't have a lot of beauty ones that I got. Um, my last one, please check out my channel, like, subscribe, watch my videos, give his grandma some time. Um, I got the Fenty. Uh, what is this called? It's the Fenty. Um, tent i got the tent and um i'll do a review on it once i use it i'm kind of saving the tent um i know you think tent you think it's i don't know i want to save it till it gets a little fall cooler and I, then i want to wear that because you know i don't like to put i put on makeup but it's very very minimal uh but yeah i wanted to try this so i got the fenty tent in as well 
Now, let's talk about small businesses because you know I try to at least get in small business. I like to support small business. And um, so I got a few small business items. So this is um, some soap that I tried. Um, I really like the Perfume de Mali. They have it as well. And I got the Baccarat. 540 is the scent of the um it's a beauty bar oil but it's the scent of the uh it's a dupe for the perfumes so um this one i haven't opened yet but that perfume the molly one i am killing it so what i do is with stuff like this i only put it on my arms and upper body not my face or anything but my neck you know the upper portion of my body yes we bathe from top to bottom. <laughs> and, <clears throat> anyway, so the name of the company is FragrantBodyOils.com. And it's right here. And I will leave it below as well. So I can't wait to see had the baccarat smell but that perfumes the molly i definitely recommend that you are going to smell good and like i said i don't put it nowhere on my body but top part and then i wash accordingly the rest of my body but this right here the next small business thing i got is i'm gonna call her family because to me i've known her long enough and she's been a part of my family one time or another so I have, um, and I'm going to leave it net right here net so you can see the Instagram because I like to make sure I name everything correctly. So Chocolate Chick Apparel, and I got this t-shirt. I have others from her as well, but, but uh, give her, please go to her page and support. I just love her t-shirts, and she is a good woman. So please do that. Um, the next thing is, and I'll put the name of, i put the Instagram so you can see it. I got these earrings. I first saw them on um, Monroe Steel. Look at that. nice right I can put them on right now with this look at that beautiful I could put these on and look also oh, pretty every single summer so these are gorgeous so please like I said check out the Instagram and go and get those earrings I want to make, like I say, I want to make sure I got everybody's name right. Go and get those earrings and you're going to look fabulous. Okay, so those are the black on things. And you know, uh, all right, so you know I also have an unboxing. I got everything, everything for you. That's why I said this is like a vlog style. You know, I'm talking to you. We're getting to know each other. So guys okay you know i've been into perfume if you watch at least one of my videos um i'm not trying to make my perfume collection outrageous so but if it's something that i want to try either i'm gonna go in and try it or if i like the notes i'm going to blind buy and i've done that before so i wanted to try the dolce and gabbana light but i wanted to get it in the intense and so I got it. So this is my first reaction. Let me see if I can get this. I wanted to show you that it hadn't been opened. So I, even though I took it out of the box, I haven't. Um, okay. I am trying to break them. They are trying to get this on. They already just glued on. Ain't these pretty though? Look, this pretty green. I like this thing. I get nails all the time. I mix and match them and everything. All right. 
So let's get this open. I'm trying not to stand so close to the camera because you don't need to see my whole entire face. Hey, this box. Oh, this box is like, I thought it was paper. It feels like suede. Sweet. I love it. I'm definitely going to keep the box. I mean, it feels like suede. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but see. It's suede. Mm. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to put the notes right here or on the ticker so you can see. Okay, so let me see how to open it. Now, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so the, the blue top just comes off. All right, so I didn't spray nothing today. Here's the bottle. Okay, first impression. I definitely, definitely think it's fruity. This smells like, um, it smells like a day scent to me. Lemon, um, citrusy lemon, suckling Granny Smith apple at the top, jasmine and marigold combined in the middle for an aroma that is absolutely sweet and sensually trailing with warm and confronting notes of amber wood and musk you know if you look at any of my uh me talking about perfumes you know that though that amber wood and musk is my scent and then it starts off really fruity with that lemon oh my gosh this this is delicious please if you liked I'm quite sure if you've already smelt the Dolce & Gabbana um, light blue itself, I wanted the intense because I wanted a stronger version of it. And it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Glad I bought it. Blind buy, check. Okay, so let's see what else. All right, let's get into some hats. I... <laughs> was obsessed with bucket hats and still are because I'm gonna wear them in the fall and winter too but I you don't have to buy expensive you know I do have I have my Gucci bucket hat now where is that because I sure don't see it wait a minute guys something missing where is my Gucci bucket hat? I don't see it here anywhere. Okay. okay. So here is my Gucci bucket hat that. Alright. Oh, really? Okay, here's my Gucci bucket hat um, that I wear, that I wore in the fall. See, it's got Gucci right there. This is the pineapple bucket hat. And so I wanted some for spring and summer. So I just got these off of Amazon. And what I love about them is, so take this yellow one. Well, I, you know, I got my, this wig on so it don't sit down on my head. I like it because I have, you know, I have a bald head. So this sits really good. And I like the fact that it, it has color underneath it. So I got a yellow. Look at this beautiful orange. So I'm going to show you a picture of me in the yellow one. A picture of me in this beautiful tangerine color. And it's got, look at the color underneath and the tangerine color. I'm going to show you that. I don't know if I have one in the blue yet, but look at the blue with the green. And then the black, which I wear to the store all the time. This is definitely my throw on one. So these bucket hats 
they throw on, they quick, they easy. You got a terrible hair day, put your hair back in the ponytail, put this bucket hat on. And I got these from Amazon. I'll link them below. So speaking of bucket hats and clothes, and I did have one dress I wanted to show you. And of course, I'm going to show you the picture of me in it. I cannot wait to wear this um, in the fall with some boots and a cute little jacket on with it. The sleeves is beautiful. This is from Nasty Girl. Nasty Gal. I want to say girl. And I like the fringe. See how this is with the square like that? I really love um, this, uh, the look of, I guess they call it squared off look. I love that and it is a baby doll dress so it is short and this grandma is wearing it yes she is age is how you wear it okay fashion and style fashion comes and go your style is you honey so do what you want and I will continue to wear short dresses like this sure it is okay so everything is around my Orlando trip so I wanted to show you something else doing my Orlando trip that I did. So I got a bathing, I wore a bathing suit that I thrifted and I'm gonna show you a picture of it right here. It is a two piece and it's got that African colors in it. And I just love the way it looked, um, but it's getting washed. So I did still wanna show you a picture of how it looked when I went to the pool to shoot that picture, that bathing suit. I'm so glad I, it was brand new, still in the packaging. That's the only reason I thrifted it because I usually don't get that type of thing from the thrift store, but it was brand new in the packaging. I wish I could tell you where it came from, but it was sealed up with no name or nothing like that. And it still had the protective thing on the bottom and you could just tell it was never worn. Um, speaking of the pool, I got me some Versace slides that I want to wear around the pool area. Also, when I got out the shower in the hotel, I wanted to make sure that I put my feet in something other than the floor. And these, of course, you know, I get a lot of my luxury items secondhand if I can. These were never worn and they were in the men's section so i get the small size um i wear a eight so i get a men's six and i really like these slides and these things you can have these things forever <laughs> that's the deal breaker you can have these forever and i just thought the red and white with the versace it's just so nice. So it was packaged in the Versace packaging. And of course, I didn't wore this. And I just wanted you to see how they look. So those are new in as well. And I said I would never get dad sandals. I said it. I know I said it. And I decided to go ahead and get dad sandals. And I believe I got these from Nasty Gal. There's so many places that sell stuff like this, that, but I really seriously think I got it from Nasty Guy. Look at these. I What made me get them is because I do like some of the Chanel ones and the Louis Vuitton ones, Dad Sandals, but child, I will never, do you understand me? Never pay that much money for these. But I believe I got them from Nasty Guy. I don't know. I can't remember. But I think they were $35. I know they were no more than $30, $35. And when I say, now I see the hype, I think it's not just the dad sandal. It's the platform. So, you know, I love platform anyway in the heel type platforms. But I walked... I walked the entire Orlando with these on. The only time I had on something different was um, 
like when I said I went to the pool or if depending on I don't think I wore anything else I brought other shoes I don't remember wearing anything else but those dad sandals everywhere I went for real you don't have to get if you want comfort and you're gonna be walking a lot, don't get you don't have to get the expensive ones. Please get something like that. Okay, these are also new in. I got these from Dillard's. Um, I think I did wear these one time. Um, and I like when I travel, I like to make sure that I'm comfortable and that whatever I use, I can use it multiple times. So this is another thing that um, I wanted to wear that I didn't wear no heels. I wasn't trying to look, take a lot of cute heeled pictures. I was trying to be comfortable because I knew it was going to do a lot of walking. And these were, I think, $25 from Dillard's. These are the, I think they are Gianna. No, these are Antonio Milani. And I like it because it had that little Tory Burch look to it. And I thought it was cute. See how the sandal, I thought it was cute. And I thought this would hurt, but it only hurt for like a few seconds. And then once I start walking in, I don't know, it didn't hurt anymore. And I like the red. So these will be definitely coming out next spring and summer. And I'm here in Florida, so I can keep wearing it for a while. So I think that's, oh my goodness. That's it guys. I didn't have a lot, but yet instead this video is giving you a little something, something, a little more juice. Cause I'm usually trying to get in and get out. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start making it that my followers, the few I have will start getting to know me better. So tell me down below, if you went on a trip recently and where did you go? So other than that guys, I truly thank you for joining me as usual. And remember, no, where, no matter where you are in your transformation, you're still beautiful. Bye, guys.